Hi everybody. So today's look is going to be a peacock inspired look. I was requested to go ahead and do this. Now initially I was probably never going to be doing a peacock inspired look on my channel because they do have purple tutorials, they do have green tutorials, and I do have tutorials using green and purple together. And a lot of people have already done this type of look. So I really wanted to, to sort of, you know, break out of the box. I didn't want to do it theatrical. I wanted you guys to be able to use it if you wanted. And um, yeah, just this really fun sort of spring to summer elaborate peacock inspired smoky eye. Since we're heading into the spring and summer months, I wanted to make it a little bit softer. It's still very powerful, but of course you can always take away any of the layers and sort of make it your own and have fun and play with it. So I hope that you do, and I hope you enjoy this tutorial, at least if you don't end up using this look. So yeah, I hope you guys like it, and I'll see you guys later. Okay, so to get started on today's look, I've already taken the Avalon Organics Vitamin C Renewal Revitalizing Eye Cream. I love this stuff. Um, for those of you asking me about the 100% Pure Organic Coffee Bean Caffeine Eye Cream, this for me is a very good dupe of that. Uh, I don't mind ordering online. You guys know I've ordered online before, but I do like being able to get to the store and pick this one up. I've only seen 100% Pure in person at the seed market over in Costa Mesa. It's kind of a drive for me. so. I generally just grab up uh, this one for now. I'm now taking the Gabrielle Eye Primer in the shade Neutral, and we're going to be applying this to the eyelids. And this is a brand new, uh, brand new one, or fairly brand new one. I'm now going to go ahead and take the Sigma, or sorry, this is not Sigma, this is Sedona Lace 407. I tend to get my S's mixed up somewhat. And I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in the shade Unexpected. This is sort of a dupe of Max Quarry. It's just really gorgeous, purpley brown sort of shade. I'm just going to take that up on the angle brush and begin applying this straight through the crease. And I like to take the majority of the color in the outer corner. Um, if your eyes are fairly wide set, you can always stick to it being very low on the crease or just trying to get the color pretty even throughout the crease. I'm now going to be taking Makeup Geek's Vanilla Bean, which is a gorgeous dupe of MAC Shroom. This one is a little bit more pigmented. I never really liked MAC's Shroom. This one has a lot more vanilla in it, if you will. I'm now going to be taking Makeup Geek's Wisteria, which is a dupe of MAC's Red Violet. I believe Red Violet is a pro color. So if you haven't seen this color before, that's probably why. I love this purple. It is a delicious purple. I'm taking a bird by another name, Starling. This gorgeous, delicious green-blue color. It's kind of a dupe of Max. I believe it was called After Party, if I'm not mistaken. And it was sort of, um, it was a limited edition color. So this is also fairly close to Max Teal, not identical. That one has a lot more green in it. This one is definitely a blue-based um, aqua tealish type color. The Pumpkin and Poppy Oil, or sorry, the Pumpkin Poppy Foiled Again Mixing Medium. I typically use the Oil Absorbing Mineral Veil in like every, um, every look here on YouTube, not to mention every day. So that name was in my head. The Sedona Lace 954, just sort of a, I don't know, concealer-like brush. Probably is a concealer brush. I think it's a little bit more than a flat, stiff paddle brush. And we're just patting this on using that drop, a drop of Foiled Again Mixing Medium. So I'm now just going to pack a dry layer over the top. Be sure to scrape the, um, the lid out clean before you put the lid back on the pigment or you could damage your entire jar of pigment. I'm now going to go ahead and take Makeup Geek's Envy Eyeshadow and we're just going to go ahead and put this on using that same brush we took originally and we're just going to blend out the edges of Starling. Taking that angled brush again and a little bit of Drama Queen from Makeup Geek, I want to reincorporate some of the deep purple into this look. This is kind of a dupe of MAC's Beauty Marked. 
And we're just going to be blending this in the outer V only. Or it's not really called an outer V. That's like a the biggest YouTube uh, <laughs> over overstatement. The outer corner of the eyelid in the shape of a V. I'm now going to be taking the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetic Color Pencil in the shade Feathered. And I'm going to be placing this on the waterline. I'm now going to be going ahead and taking the Zuzu Lux Eyeliner in the shade Obsidian and we are going to line the waterline. I love doing this sort of black and white ombre effect. It really draws the eye open. I'm now going to be taking the Ole Henriksen Perfect Truth CC Cream. Looks like this and we're just going to, oops, we're just going to apply this onto our face using this Dillian Tools 957 flat top brush. They make this in yellow and they might make it in pink. I think the pink line is still a little bit smaller if I'm not mistaken. But I only bought, I bought the full set of um, pink brushes but I am very certain there's still some brushes that are not in that kit. Now I'm going to be taking Drama Queen again and the Sedona Lace 904. This is a very pigmented color and since we've already done the face, be sure to tap off any extra. So that would have flown all over our foundation. So. So I'm going to have some fun today with this because it's a peacock look and um, I'm going to be taking the Lit Clearly Liquid Glitter Base and I'll apply that. First off, I'm going to share this with you before I get that base going, is the Champagne Wishes Solid Size Number 2. Now I don't recommend the solid finishes for people who are new to applying glitter because they have to be fairly opaquely applied. Otherwise, if you leave gaps in them, it does look a little odd, uh, funny, not perfect, basically. The first time I tried to work with a solid, I had a very hard time. I purchased myself some shimmers. All in all, honestly, even if you never become good at applying glitter, the shimmers from Lit are beautiful. And we're going to let it become tacky. Now, the reason I selected Champagne Wishes is because it is a multi-dimensional silver and gold glitter, and it's and it does have an iridescent rainbow sparkle in it. So that'd be perfect for a peacock because we have yet to incorporate gold. So I'm just going to dab my finger in that glitter till I get the finish just all over the surface of my finger. I find this is the easiest way possible to apply solids. And we're just going to go ahead and dab that over that. You noticed we left the eyeshadow uh, color gap, vanilla bean. Um, all over the eyelid and you're like okay when are you gonna fill in that gap I actually do like to leave gaps in eyeshadows now I took a class about doing that I thought it was so genius and it does allow the color to sort of speak for itself without just sort of saturating yourself in um, glitter and also if you already did your face like me a good thing to do is just take a notepad or eyeshadow shield and put that on which was originally what I was going to do and then I got all excited and forgot now I am going to just sort of lightly get into the lash line with eyeliner I'm going to be taking my Young Blood Mineral Cosmetics Eclipse Incredible Wear Gel Liner, a fabulous high-end brand that will be, one of them will be replacing Tarte for me, at least for this Young Blood product, it did replace my Tarte um, um, Amazonian Clay Gel Liner. And I love this. This is the blackest, prettiest black. Uh, it is a waterproof power, but it does actually come off a little easier than the Amazonian Clay. I'm now going to be taking the Josie Moran Give One Get One Instant Natural Volume Argon Mascara. I love this mascara. It's definitely inspired me to try more natural mascaras. A lot of vegan mascaras did not work for me, um, but maybe natural ones will. There's a slight difference. Natural doesn't always mean vegan, but a lot of the ones that are um, have synthetic uh, emollient properties in them definitely burn my eyes. I don't know what it is. It's There's definitely something wrong with me. If I can find an all natural and an all vegan mascara that works for me, that would be very pleasant. <laughs> if you noticed in this video that I'm a lot jumpier than I used to be, I'm trying to make myself a morning person. My goal is to get to Sunrise Flow Yoga, which is a 6 a.m. class at my studio. And I know that sounds completely freaking insane because I'm still polishing off being a little tired from waking up at seven. But this morning, I'm actually going back to work. I start my work week on Saturday mornings because um, that's a bartender's life, right? And my weekend happens to be during the week. So I'm starting my work week here on a Saturday morning. And you notice, if you've ever seen me film a tutorial on a Saturday morning, which a good deal of them actually are, 
I'm pretty lethargic, <laughs> but since I've been back in full swing and trying to eat um, a lot of raw vegan smoothies and a lot of um, really healthy, uh, powering, empowering breakfasts, I'm now going to be taking the Josie Moran Argon Illuminator in the shade Gold. And I'm definitely a firm believer that healthy levels of exercise and substantial eating and hydration is the key to happiness. I'm always like at my most cleansed and happy when I'm really sort of challenging myself to be as uh, raw organic and as yogified as possible. I think I've gotten over that really lethargic slope where uh, you know when you're exercising every day for the first week and waking up early you're just like woo. And I think it's because your body's detoxing so it's using up so much more energy. Taking my pumpkin poppy oil absorbing Absorb blah, 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 blah. That's the wrong one. I should not have two containers of the same powder in the, or a similar powder in the same drawer. I'm now going to be taking the Pumpkin and Poppy Oil Absorbing Mineral Veil because I love this stuff. And this is sort of a dupe of the MAC 131. So I'm going to be taking this, and this is the 953 from Delling Tools. You can get this in green or yellow, I believe. Now I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Endless Summer 16 Hour Wear Bronzer. I think this is gorgeous. Comes in the coral box. And where did I, st oh here it is. I'm going to dip into this bronzer. I'm gonna be taking a more compacted brush because I seem to have a hard time making this appear with a fluffier brush. And this color should be more than dark enough for my skin tone. I'm taking this pencil in about a week. So um, I don't know why I tend to forget it. The packaging is really simple, but it's exquisite at the same time. So I think that's why I've been taking my other colored pencils first. And this is the Bite Beauty Contour Lip Pencil in the shade Cashew. Ah, I know what I want to take. Gabrielle lipstick in the sage. Gabrielle lipstick in the shade Seashell. This is a gorgeous. It's very similar to Max Shy Girl. I'll have to do a comparison soon in my next deep video. Lip gloss in the shade Opal. This is a similar base tone to the shade Bubble Lounge from the Matte Lip Jelly line. I hope that you enjoyed this peacock look. I had too much fun putting it together as you can tell. <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.